Ever wondered how NEON ensures that its observational field sampling data are high quality, accurate, and consistent? Let's follow the journey of NEON ground beetle data through the NEON data pipeline, from collection at a field site all the way through publication to the NEON data portal. Field ecologists use tested and standardized protocol methods to carefully collect observational data on a preset schedule throughout the year. You can find these on the NEON data portal or choose to receive them with the data you download. Instead of using traditional field notebooks, they record data on tablets using custom-built mobile apps. These apps allow for controlled data entry by providing selectable lists for categorical data, restricting ranges on numeric values, and pre-populating location data and sample identifiers. On a set schedule, data are automatically pulled from the cloud and sent to NEON headquarters. For samples that require external lab analysis, like beetles for the NEON DNA barcode data product, Specimens are carefully packaged up and sent directly to a contracted lab for analyses. The analytical results are then returned to NEON headquarters and interpreted by the NEON OS parser. The parser carries out basic calculations like time zone and temperature conversions. It also directs incoming data traffic so that the data are stored in the correct file location while also performing automated quality control checks for validation. For example, DNA barcode data can be checked against sample identifiers of collected beetles. This enables the parser to create a link in the database between different types of beetle data. If a matching sample can't be found in the NEON database, the data will be rejected. If the data are rejected, a NEON scientist is automatically notified to review and fix the issue. Data validations are defined by machine-readable instructions written by NEON scientists for each protocol. You can find these rules in the validation file that accompanies your downloaded observational data. If the data are rejected, a NEON scientist is automatically notified to review and fix the issue. The parser then delivers this raw or level 0 data to the process data repository. Both level 0 and level 1 data are stored in this repository. The process of transitioning observational data from level 0 to level 1 consists of adding spatial information to the data tables, bringing in related sample information, adding additional taxonomic data, and obscuring the identification of any threatened or endangered species to protect them. After the data are transitioned to level 1, another set of machine-readable instructions are used to publish data. Data from the database are formatted, compressed, and tagged with the publication date. If the data are reprocessed, the publication date is updated. Finally, the data are delivered to the NEON data portal for you to search and download freely. Have more questions? Send an inquiry to our team.